Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4. So, our Better Mexico campaign is over and our next destination for a conquest and adventure is in Ireland. As lovely little Desmond, where our goal will be to unite the Irish Isles and then proceed to rule over all of Britannia. So let us jump right on in, shall we? Alrighty then, so here we are in the lovely Emerald Isle, which is not quite so emerald right now because it's not united yet. Alright, you'll notice there's some different buttons here. We have mission settings for sending people on missions. Now all missions are in a button here. They've changed the interface a little. This button is absolutely useless to us and we'll never talk about it ever again. Well, until we play a game where it actually comes into play, but it doesn't right now, so... We'll get the usual trade going. We'll trade in our home node, which is the North Sea. Send a merchant to collect there, because we can't really do anything else. We have no influence in, say, the English Channel, so there's no point in transferring more power down there. Might as well collect what we can. And to immediately start things off, we want to start sucking up to France, because they're our best chance at having an ally and a friend in this world. So let's get that going. And we'll immediately want to say that we feel threatened by England. Because we do, because they're probably going to try to conquer us. They're neutral towards us right now, but they'll probably want to take us over at some point. Uh, remove Leinster from the map. I like the sound of that. The only problem is that Leinster has a tendency to ally England, so we'll have to see how that turns up. So Leinster. Uh, Fomind also hates me, so we'll take him over. And Clan Riccardi, why not? There we go. Now we play the waiting game where we wait a month to when we can actually declare a war and then we find out if we can actually declare on Leinster. But just in case we can't, let us start building a spy network. They've changed how claims and other espionage stuff works. So now you have to build a spy network to do this stuff. The plus side is that fabricating claims is now instantaneous once you've got your thing going. Let's also start building up a, towards our fleet limit or army limit. And you know what? We'll even do that. We'll bump up our... We'll do a bit of early development just to give us a tiny little bit extra money, which may or may not be the deciding factor early game. Probably not going to be a deciding factor, but you never know. All right. A little more. A little more. And we're just one day past. And did you ally England? You did not. So we can immediately go to war. Move Leinster from the map. And I suppose I might as well wait a little just to make sure we actually have our extra army dude here. All right. Okay, actually, Leinster's building up, so... Hmm. 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 You know what? We'll cancel this for a second. We'll get the war going. Ah! I waited too long. Now they allied England, so we can't actually go and kill them. Which means this mission is utterly worthless now. I hate Leinster. I mean, they do this to me every- I should have just declared the war right away. That was my big mistake right there. Mistake number one, not being instantly aggressive. That's how you win in this world. Dog eat dog world. Let's see. Alright, Ulster has also decided to suck up to England in this particular world, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. Just a bit. I'll probably go to war with Leinster eventually, but it would have been really nice to take them early, because that would have... They're a pretty high development province, so it's kind of worth it, I would say. Alright, Formand has done... Wait, how are these guys... Oh! All right, it's about the right time. All right, we will make a claim. Send our guy home. Now we shall declare war. You have no allies. You That was the biggest mistake of your life. Also, the fact that you did not build up your army. And there's only four of you compared to the seven of me, so... Bada bing, bada boom, you are dead. We also killed one of his ships, apparently, and we killed all his dudes. So it is time to go to war. Ah, Austria is the Holy Roman Emperor. That came as a surprise to absolutely no one. Hmm. England. And stupid Irish for betraying me. 
How dare they? These, they're garbage. Absolute garbage. I mean, the English are the enemy. They're not, they're not our friend. They're not the one we're supposed to be fighting. So I'll accept that because I don't really want to lose stuff. Form an alliance with Kildare. Nah. I'll rival them. Because Kildare is the center of the map, so they're a pretty good nation to conquer, really, when you think about it. What's going on? Apparently their ships are attacking my ships, because... Oh shit, I forgot to tell my ships to go home at war. And again, I guess I can afford to. I'll just kind of let that go on here. And I'm getting small amounts of war score every time it happens, and my navy... Uh, trade ships is bigger than any ever trade navy that I'm seeing buzzing around here, so we should be okay for the most part. Alright, and that ends that, so that's good. We have almost capped out things with France. Let's actually see if we can royal marry them now. Not, but we're very, very, very close. Good. Sue for peace, give me all your land and all your money. And it's going to create some inflation problems for us, but... I don't really care because the important thing is we are bigger now and we are now... You know what? I will form a thing against you, so improve relations with Sligo. Why not? And I guess I don't need to go too quickly with them. Would it be a good idea to ally them? Could I ever vassalize them? No. Because the economic base is thing... That, I'll be honest, I've never actually looked at how the economic base thing works, but I'm told, or I've read rather, that it's actually, like, one of the most ridiculously set up things in all of creation. In the sense that there's just, it, it's just, the math basically makes it impossible to vassalize people, apparently. It's pretty weird. Like, you've seen it in some of our campaigns before, where we've played as super massive nations, and yet these, like, little one-province miners are like, No! Our economy is too good compared to yours! We couldn't possibly be your vassal! And then I'm thinking to myself, well, that makes not a dang lick of sense. Alright. Oh! For once, Poland did not form its alliance with Lithuania. Interesting. And scandalous. I also feel like I'm probably making a mistake by not immediately preparing to go to war with somebody. Also, I forgot to best guess everyone. Let's uh, best guess, and for some reason, England, who you'd figure would be of vital interest to us, is not of vital interest to us. Seems trying to trick me here. Hey, right. Come on, like me just a little bit more. Just a little more. Just marry me, please. Please. There we go. That's what we need. That's the good stuff. Yes! And we can get an alliance, so now England will not dare to screw with us. Hopefully. Come on, there we go. Okily dokily. Alright, let's go after Clan Ricarde first, I think. Alright, we're in a military alliance. In an effort to advance their own interest. Ooh, they're even giving us money. Thank you, France. You're such a good friend. All right, so now England can go F itself, and we will be perfect forever. Probably. I'll promise to give them land or something, but I'll wait until England is busy with something. And surely they'll get busy with something at some point in, in the future, because surely, sure, why not? Surely they couldn't possibly, you know, get too much going on here. They're not Superman, after all. All right, France is the Pope controller. Awesome. Which is pretty historical when you think about it. There's actually a funny story involving the Pope, and then there was two Popes, and then there was three Popes, all at the same time, mind you. That's the, that's where the funny part comes in. And one of them was a pirate. That that is that is actually a true story, by the way. Actually happened. Look it up. I kid you not. I know that sounds crazy, probably, but. Literally, one of the popes used to be a pirate. He was not a very good pope. Uh, no, I don't want to form an alliance with you, Sligo. Oh, crap, did that make you hate me? Ah, dang it. 
Now I'm not going to be able to get this mission finished in a timely fashion. Alright, stop building the spy network. You know what, I'll just royal marry them. It's probably a bad idea. I want to conquer them. Alright, that finished that mission. So, ah, there we go. Remove Clan Riccardi from the map. Might as well suck up to England a little bit. But first, we'll get this war going here. Declare war. They cannot. And we'll go suck up to England. As we do like sucking up to our, to our oppressors, just to make sure that they don't decide to kill us in the back while we're not looking. With the candlestick. And we'll also improve relations with Daneland, because, as you can see... English don't like the Danish that much, which actually means we should probably make sure these guys are of special interest as well. Because if we can get the Danes as an ally, they have a moderately good navy, as I recall, so they could probably help us when it comes to fighting off the English navy. That's our biggest fear. We want to make sure we have some control of the seas so that things don't go completely pear-shaped and bad. As you know, we don't want things going bad. There's still enough guys. There are still enough guys. Excellent. This is all very good news. Take you out of there. There we go. Alright, things are looking up for Ireland. Then again, they're always looking up for Ireland. Ireland is a pretty nice place. Never been there, actually. But then again, I haven't really had the chance to do a lot of traveling. Oh, wow. Wow, that... That happened fast. Surprisingly fast, I would say. Alright, let's uh, pop this guy off. And in the next tick, send him home. There we go. And our next target of conquest is probably going to be Kildare. Unless they've allied England like a dirty coward, which they have not. Or Tyrone, actually. Tyrone would be a pretty good target as well. But we'd have to go to Kildare first, then Tyrone. So overall, things are actually looking up. And we want to make sure England likes us so that hopefully they won't warn us. Because if they warn us, then we can't go to war with anyone touching them. And we want to make sure that we get everyone that we can possibly get. There's some kind of super happy fun zone with us. So that everything works pretty perfectly. If we can, we'll also take all your money. Oh, they have too much money. So now seven ducats are just going to disappear into the ether and never get seen again. That's a shame. Where is my navy? You know what? I'm going to tell you, when you take any damage, please repair yourself. And maybe also go home at war. Uh, placate England. I feel that's never going to happen, so we'll suck up to the Pope Man instead. But first... Start building a spy network. Alright, we'll stop uh, sucking up to England for a little while. So we can suck up to the Pope instead. It's, always, it's kind of funny when you think about it. Like, when you consider, like, it's not that big a deal to fly from Ireland all the way down to Rome these days. But can you imagine the trip that would have taken back in, like, the, f the 15th century here? Like, I assume you would have sailed all the way around the coast roam like that, because I think that would have been faster than, than the land route, I think. Maybe not. I guess it depends, really, on what was going on at the time. If there was a war going on, and there usually was in Europe, it's because, you know, Europe like likes to fight and stuff, as is the custom of all great nations, probably. Uh, you know what? I actually don't want to... Um, um... I don't really want to deal with either of this. Ooh. You know what? We'll build one more guy. Because we can afford to build one more guy now. Hopefully that lasts 57 days. I mean, 8 on 8 should be okay. I don't really like the idea of doing it, but I'll do it. Oh, crap. And we also have rebels who are going to rebel soon. Which is always a scary time. Please, please, please. Alright. 
Okay, we won. Nope, we lost. Crap. Well. This is going to be interesting. By interesting, I mean god damn those damn dirty rebels. And they immediately get full morale for some reason. You'd figure they'd have to recover morale as well, but then again, apparently not. Hopefully we recover faster, though. Faster, damn it. Oh, you know what? I can't afford to have these rebels. Wait, did I actually lower there? Oh, apparently I did lower it. I don't even remember hitting that button. I guess it's become so ingrained into me to do it that I just did it. So, I guess to be safe, let's hire a merc. Alright, so we're going to have to fight the rebels here, which is going to be bad for us. Very scary. We should be okay. We should probably, possibly be okay. Alright. Kill the rebels. Thank you. Wait for our guys to recover. Then we go kill the rebels here. Hopefully. Possibly. Oh, right. I can probably finish this off. We'll fabricate a claim here. And then, we will fabricate a cl- Oh, wait, I should probably set some new rivals, shouldn't I? Hildare and Sligo. Why not? I'll make Sligo hate me so I can probably afford to go to war. Actually, could I? Let's see. No Cassus Belly and Royal- Damn it, I forgot about the whole royal marriage thing. That's why I shouldn't have royal married them. Well, I'll only lose a little bit of prestige. Why not? Alright, we'll do that. That works out just fine. And what a tick. We have conquest. We can kill. Please, 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 please. Good. All right, that worked out okay. Everything is going exactly as I have foreseen. Oh, I can royal marry England. But I really want to do that. I could. It would be kind of funny to form an alliance with England and... I mean, it's not going to happen, but it'd be funny. Form an alliance with England, help, or have them help me go to war against Scotland, and then take on... Oh, these guys are vassals now. You dirty traitors. Like, come on. Come on. You're Irishmen. You're supposed to be fighting against the English, not joining them. Well, that's an, well you should never trust an Irishman. They'll stab you in the back as soon as look at you. Or something. Don't take that as a political statement. All right, let's see here. Well, I guess what we have to do now is attack Kildare, take Tyrone, and just hope everything somehow works out. Any other alliances going on here? Oh, crap, they're sucking up to England. Or is England sucking up to them? England... They're sucking up to England. Which means they're either afraid of getting conquered, probably by me, or, I, or maybe England, because England's, like, right next door. This is going to be interesting. To be honest, this whole, whole scenario here. I could wait until I finish this and hope I get a mission to take out Kildare. That would work for me. Hmm. Do I want to be crazy and do this? I think the answer is yes. Five years, huh? Alright. I can work with that. You know what? I'll finish this first just to see what kind of mission we get. We're in a pretty good state. England doesn't want to murder us yet. But they will soon enough, which is why it's going to be very important to suck up to them. But then again, we have France on our side, so that's going to help us as well. Come on. Just one more point. There we go. That takes care of that. All right, we get more papal influence. Ah, remove Sligo from the map. Jolly good. Sorry, old chap. You are going down, which also means I don't need this anymore. Purge them. Sure, why not? Purge the dirty cowards. Or whatever it was we were doing there. We'll build a spy network over here. We'll declare war on Sligo, and then we'll continue sucking up to England. Just to make sure they don't accidentally get any ideas into their pretty little heads about conquering us. Because we don't want that. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright. Review. You, and you, and you, 
and you guys can stay for now. All right. Really good. Everything is working out just fine for the most part. We'll get rid of this mercenary here. I mean, things look like they're going well, but things can still change. I mean, we do have France, which is like the big ace in the hole here. As long as we have France in our pocket, or I guess we're in their pocket, really, uh, we should be fine. Because I don't think England would dare declare a direct war on us while we had Scotland watching our back. Or Scotland <laughs> had France watching our back. Of course, the big struggle here is that we're going to have to take Ulster eventually, I think. Or we're going to need to build some boats, because we're going to have to invade Scotland, I think, at some point. The Scots could be valuable allies, but we need them. We need them to be in our country. And as everyone knows, the fastest way to earn a Scot's trust is to beat them in single combat. Aw. Now France isn't paying me subsidies anymore. What's going on here? You're in a war. A war against Brittany, Burgundy, Nevers, and Brabant, Flanders, and Holland. That's probably not the best war you could have picked there, France, old buddy, old pal. Old friend of mine. Probably knows what he's doing. I have to assume he knows what he's doing. If he doesn't know what he's doing, I'm scared. Wait, is it a he? Is there a she on the throne of France? There is. Okay. Makes sense. I guess. Alright, that takes care of that. Can we fabricate a claim? We can, so we'll get uh, the, flame, the claim made. And then we'll go home. Now, because these are vassals, we have to be building up our spy network in England, so we will go build the spy network in England. Really good. You know, that was kind of dumb. All right. We're making good progress. That's the important part here. So let us sue for peace. Do that. Take all their money. Too much money. We're getting a lot of inflation, but the most important part is that we're making a lot of money. And that's good, because inflation can be taken care of eventually. Tyrone's opinion. I'm going to be conquering Tyrone in a minute. Don't give me silly missions like that game. Yeah, see? Look, Tyrone's a rival. Give me a new mission. You're just like, oh no, I'm not going to give you a new mission. I'm just going to tell you to suck it. And I say, that wasn't very sporting of you. That was not very sporting of you at all. Oh. Well, I guess I should build another guy. I should probably also core my, my territory that I took here. That would probably help. Uh, what is the situation looking like over here? We have some rebels. 3.9 years, 12 years. Alright, that's good to know. Humiliate against Tyrone, that's also good and grand and glorious. I really should take Kildare out first. I have a claim on this, right? I do, so I'll take this, then this. And then we're going to have to figure out, do we go to war with England? And the answer is yes, but we have to make sure we do it properly. So in the meanwhile, let's wrap this episode up. And until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.